Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And I got a few scriptures I'm going to go into concerning the believers, the sincere believers, really the. Uh, really going to focus more on us the ones of us that are teaching this word you know uh rehearsing the righteous acts you know even though they are um they're going to be helps you know the helps that are part of this ministry they're going to be men that are helps to um help support the ministry and you have you know the few sisters out there that are trying to get themselves in order and prepare themselves for you know, the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly know or calls Jesus, which his true name is Yahweh Shai. Okay? And then uh, versus the rest of our people, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we are the Israelites. And while we're striving to get uh, better, to grow in the spirit, you know, to rehearse the righteous acts more uh fervently you can say that you know stay in the spirit as much as possible growing this knowledge and uh improve there's always room room for improvement in our walk on this planet earth you know our walk in this truth while the rest of our people you would think they would be uh they would be healing all that's going on in the world, all the hell, ultimately, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is bringing on us for breaking his law, statutes, and commandments. You would think that they would, you know, clean the act up. You say, they would say, or you would think that they would say, enough is enough. I'm out here doing wrong. And maybe this is the reason why things are the way they are. That's not scriptural, though. The scriptures say, that you know our people are going to continue in this state of blindness and spiritual being uh, spiritually being deaf until the cities are destroyed thereof i'm gonna bring that out real quick and i'm gonna get straight to the point i only got a few scriptures i'm not gonna make this video too long this is isaiah chapter six and you can go read this whole chapter Mr. Jim, you know, we didn't brought uh starting with our apostles and elders, they didn't went into this uh a lot, you know. So let's go here. Started uh Isaiah six and eight, it says, Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? So this is really a counsel in the spiritual realm and the of the most high and the angels okay and the most high is asking who's going to go do a particular job for him and this is where we're at it says then said i here i am send me and he said go and tell this people hear ye indeed but understand not and see ye indeed and perceive not that's why when we out on the street speaking and we put up we upload it on the on the internet on the youtube and we do the different videos we do you have majority of our people that see it. They don't accept the fact that they're Israelites. They don't understand what we're talking about, yet they see it. They hear what we're saying, but they don't, under they don't understand what they're hearing. Okay, and that's because of what we're reading right now. The Most High was intentional about blinding the majority of our people. All right, Isaiah 6 and 10, it says, Make the heart of this people fat, make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes. This is all symbolic talk. It says, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart, meaning their mind, and convert and be healed. You see, because what heals us? What do we need? We need a, we need a spiritual cleansing from the, the um, we need a brainwashing from the indoctrination that we've been indoctrinated with, which is what? The, the 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 corrupt defile 
lifestyle of the so-called white man Esau, who is Esau according to the scriptures. He's the father, which they uh, which are the father of the Edomites. They go back to their forefather Esau. Okay, and he's taught us horrible ways. He's taught us the wrong way. He's taught us everything against righteousness. The Most High say don't eat pork. He say we can eat pork. The Most High say don't commit adultery. He he sets up a society that uh, that promotes adultery. Just listen to the music. Go outside your door and look at the the women. How promiscuous they dress. Half naked. Damn, they're really naked. You know. The Most High say man uh, shall not lie with man as he lie with uh, woman. It is an abomination. Both of them should be put to death for that. The so-called white man promotes it. Gives them rights and protects them. What happened to Sodom and Gomorrah for those type of things? The Most High burned that place up with spiritual fire. fire. And that's what's coming for this place. Okay? And that's what's in the minds of our people. They have accepted this man's way of life and they don't want to see it no other way. And that's okay. If we're reading why it's like that, the Most High set it up to be this way. All right, we're reading verse 11, Isaiah 6 and 11. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the, how long are the people going to be Israelites? Are gonna be, how, are they gonna, how long are they going to be in a spiritually uh, sleep state? A spiritually blind and deaf state? That's what the question that's being posed. I believe this is by the angel. It says, and this is the response of the Most High, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant. That's only going to happen one place on the planet Earth that's right here in Babylon the Great. This is going to be the place that's uh, uh, wasted where there's going to be no inhabitants left. The only thing that will inhabit this place is desert creatures. You can read about that in Isaiah the 34th chapter, Isaiah the uh, 13th chapter. Those are two chapters that talk about it that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. Okay? Both of those chapters going into the destruction of Babylon the Great, which we know as America. It says, and without, and some sorry, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. Now let's. I want to go back to that scripture that I had in the book of Second Timothy. So this is going to be the condition of our people. Let's read about it. Second Timothy three and. 13 it says but evil men and seducers so you have you know majority of our people they're, fo they're following the seducers the ones that are supposed to be in a le that are in leadership positions but they're steering the people the wrong direction you even have men that know that they're Israelites holding leadership roles and they're steering our people down the wrong direction by not breaking down the scriptures in its entirety or breaking down the scriptures correctly in its entirety so they'll break down things correct majority of it is correct but there's key um parts of the doctrine that we must understand that our salvation uh depends upon us knowing and understanding you know and they're not giving it to the to the people then you have these so-called pastors, preachers, and leaders in other organizations of philosophies that are uh, leading people. And if you're following them and you don't come out of it, you know, you're going to be destroyed. And what does that mean? That means, ultimately it means you're evil. That's why I'm reading this right here. It says, but... Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Okay, so while the ones that are of the elect are going to be striving to improve and grow and get better as we approach the end of this man's society, you have the rest of our people, especially right here in Babylon the Great, that are going to get worse and worse. 
Okay. The scriptures tell us, and I'm going I'm to quote some scriptures from here about going from glory to glory. We're supposed to graduate in the spirit, going from one glory to the next in his, in his knowledge. Just like you in uh, school and you go, you know, from one level to the next. Incre uh, uh, increasing in your learning and you're supposed to apply what you learn in this, in this truth, you know. Well, on the flip side of things. The ones that are not a part of this knowledge that the most have not the most high have not gifted this knowledge, they're getting worse. They're downgrading. And I believe I'm gonna end it right here, you know. Ultimately what's gonna happen to them as we read, they're gonna be destroyed, man. And the the remnant that are working hard to get themselves in order preparing themselves for uh for salvation will will be delivered from this this up and coming destruction hey more death is coming man more death more destruction is coming down the pipe lord willing this video was edifying and until the next next one i say shalom